Hi, George here with another Minecraft Bedrock custom video. This time I'll be doing a Minecraft Bedrock custom music disc right here and putting our own music on that music disc. Now there are a bunch of music discs in the game, but the most common ones are disc 13 right here and disc cat right there. You can find both of these in treasure chests inside of ancient cities, inside of mansions and inside of dungeons. So they're very common. So we'll be using that disc right here. And we're going to be changing the look of the disc and the name of the disc right down here and also the music on the disc. Whatever you put on the disc will not play longer than the original music on the disc. So just keep that in mind. Basically keep your music songs to about four minutes or less and you'll be just fine on that. Okay, so we need to have a few things here to go ahead and do this. And for that, we need to have some new custom music and we'll also have to get that music set up properly to work on the discs. And we'll need to have an image for the disc and a few other things as well. So let's switch over to the desktop and let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need is a place to build your new custom pack. And I have one here, I just named it Bedrock Packs. This is on my C drive, just a new folder, just like that. Now, if you want to use your own custom pack icon, I have my own right here. It's any image that you want and it's 128 by 128 and it's a PNG file. That's all that is. If you want to find out how I make these little totem of undying shapes in here, I'll put a link for that video in the description. If you want to use the standard pack icon, which is this one, I'll show you where you can get that. Okay, now I need to get a couple of things from the vanilla resource pack. So let me show you where you can get that or bring up a web browser for that. And you need to go right here and I'll put this link in the description as well. And then in here, scroll down, there's pre-release, pre-release, ignore those. Come down to where it says a latest. That's the one that you want. And then you want the source code in the zip file format right there. So click on that and then download this to your new working folder, which is right here. Go ahead, click on save. And we now have that downloaded. Let's go back to our working folder. Here we go. And we need to open this up, but I like to open this up in a new window. It makes it really easy to do. Right click and this just open a new window. There we go, I'm on Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, that new window location may look different, but you'll find it in your list. Okay, now that we're in here, go inside of the first folder, and then you'll see three folders in here. The one you want is the resource pack folder right here. Go inside of that one. And then here, a couple of things. First off, right here, there is the pack icon PNG. That is this one right there. If you want to use that one, that's that file right here. We also need to have the manifest right here. So let's drag it over here and drop that in. There we go, there's our manifest. And then we need to have the texture for the disc. So let's go in here to textures and it's items. And then way down here, we have record right in here. We want the record underscore cat, drag that over. There's our image for the record. And then in here, let's just back up a couple of steps back to the resource pack folder. And if you want to change the name of the record, it's right here where it says texts, go inside of this. And then you need your language in here. I'm working in English US, which is this one. Just drag that over as well. Okay, we copied a lot of stuff in here. These all came from different folders. So we now need to set our folders up. So this came out of the texts folder right here. So let's make a new folder for texts, new folder, and then just name this one texts. There we are. This is in the root of the pack, that's fine. That was in the root of the pack, that's fine. Look at that was in textures. So let's go back here to resource pack. We'll see where that was again. That's textures right here. And it was inside of items right there. So need to get those folders set up. So back over here again to our working folder. Go up to new, come down to folder. First one is textures. And then inside of textures, we need a new folder here, new and folder. And this one is items. Okay, that takes care of everything that we're looking at. We now need to have the sound file in here for our records. Let's go back up here again, resource pack, and you find sounds right here. And in sounds, notice that we don't have a folder here for records. So we need to make that one. So let's make those folders, new folder. This one is sounds. And inside of this, make a new folder in here, new folder. This one is gonna be music. There you go, inside of music, new folder. This one is game, inside of game, new folder. And this one is records. And our new cat record will be going right inside here inside of this records folder. So sounds, music, game, and records. Okay, so our folders are all set to go. 
I now need to have a new song in here, so I'll bring a new song in. Let me bring that up. And it has some stuff here that I downloaded from the YouTube audio library. And we'll be using this one right here. It's called No Doubt. And I'll just right drag that over here and copy. And here we go. That's our new record for this. Now this is about seven minutes long, so it's going to cut off short, but that's okay. Now mine comes in with this kind of a cone shape thing in here. That's just because I have my music discs playing in the VLC media player, which is right up here. It's a nice music player. I like it and it's free. So that's why I have that kind of a cone shape thing there. So that's all that is. If you're using a different media player, you'll have a different icon up here. Just make sure that you have your new song here and it's probably going to be in MP3 format. That's fine. We'll be converting this over to the right format a little later on. But first, let's take care of this image down here, our record cat PNG image. I want to have something different just for fun, just to have a different image. And you can use any image you want on this. But we'll just find something fun. Now, I like to get my images from a free image site and it's called Pixabay. Let me bring that up. And it's right here, Pixabay. And up here, let's just change this to illustrations. Again, this is all free. And we'll do a search here for a disk and see what we get. This is from a different site. This is from iStock Images. There's a cost to those, so scroll down past that first bit. And everything down here is a free download. Now I have an account over here on Pixabay. The account is also free. It just makes it a little bit faster to download. You don't have to have an account, but again, if you're doing this a lot, then having that can save you a little bit of time. Let's just find something kind of interesting or fun in here. Notice lots of nice fun disc shapes. Maybe I'll take this one here, kind of the old fashioned record 45 vinyl look. Click on that. Here is the image. We'll probably brighten it up a little bit and then go to free download. And what the small size that they have, 640 by 640, and then download. And we'll download this back into our working folder, which is right here and choose save. Okay, so that's taken care of. We're now going to modify that one to work. So I have another site for you here, another free site, and that's Pixlr right here. It's pixlr.com. I'll put the link for this in the description. And it's a free to use image and photo editing program where you can download up to three times per day, which is more than enough for most people. If you want to have more downloads a day, you can get a subscription to this. If you do a yearly subscription for just more downloads, it's about 75 cents a month. If you want to have all the tools, everything you see down here, image generator, all this kind of fun stuff, that's about $5 a month, but you can use it for free, which is all we need to do. So let's go over here where it says start photo editing. And let's open up a couple of images here. First off, I want to make an adjustment to the original image. So we'll click on open image. And this is one right down here. We want to make this a larger picture. So choose open. These are real small images, as you can see. The item images are 16 by 16. I want to get this larger than that. I normally go up in doubling. So I go 16 by 16 up to 32 by 32, then 64 by 64 then 128 by 128, and then 256 by 256. I never go larger than that. You don't need to. We'll take this up to 120 by 128. Have a nice good size on that. So go up here to page, come down to smart resize. You want to have this on scale. And where it says smoothing, uncheck that we don't want any smoothing. Where it says avoid stretching, check that one. That's all set. And then up here, we'll be using 128 by 128, which will make it much larger in size and then choose apply. There we go. Okay, that takes care of this one. And we want to save this, so it's bottom right hand corner, right down here, little button, click on save. It's a PNG with transparency, that is correct. Choose save as, and I'll save it with the same name in the same location and save. Overwrite, yes, and we can close that down. That's one of my three downloads. Close that down. Okay, let's now open up our new disk image. Let's go up here to file, come down to open image. Open up this one, choose open. And I want to bring this size down to the right size. I want to make this smaller down to that 128 by 128. Same steps, go up to page, come down to smart resize. And here again, uncheck smoothing, avoid stretching, and set this at 128 by 128. Choose apply. There we go. That's set to go. Okay, let's now save this image as well. Save button. Transparent PNG, save as, same location, same name, choose save. That's two of our three. I can do one more and that's all we need. So let's close this down. And here we go, here's our cat record. Open up our new one, make sure it's the right size. So open image, there we go, open this up. And then in here, let's go over here, right hand side, here's your layers. Click on the plus sign right here and you wanna bring in an image. And then we want this size adjusted record, choose open comes in right here. At this point, we can zoom in on this. Here's our zoom control. You can see the old record in behind. Go up here to the size section 
and let's uncheck that padlock. And we can now readjust our size, grab a corner, I can make it shorter or taller like this. What I want to do is I want to put this on top of the other record and kind of fitting inside of those edges. You can just kind of see there's the edge over here. Edge on this one is way over there. So let's just grab this and pull this over to that side a bit like that. Let's pull the top down a little bit. Okay, that's in about the right place. And pull this side over a bit. There we go. So that's in the right size. Those were a little bit off center. That's typical for this thing. I'm going to move it over here so it's centered better right there. Okay, so this is our final record. Let's now come down here to background, click on the padlock, and then hide that. So here's our final image. I want to make this a bit brighter though. It's a bit on the dark side. So let's go up here to adjustments, brightness contrast. And we'll bring our brightness up a bit. And I think that's better. Choose apply. Okay, let's now use our final free download of the day. Come down to the save button. You want a PNG, you want transparency on, that's all correct. Choose save as. And then we want this in the same name and it is record cat, that's fine. But we're saving this in here inside of our textures. So go into textures, go into items, and you save it right here and save. There it is, that's our three out of three daily free saves. We've now used those up, but that's all I needed was just those three saves to get this project finished. Okay, we can get rid of that now. I'll close that down. And we can close this down too, we're done with this. We'll get to this in just a minute. So the first part is now finished. Okay, the next thing we need to do is to adjust our language in here. Now I edit these in Notepad++. It's a great little code editor, perfect for doing this kind of stuff inside of Minecraft. And it's free, free download. Let me show you where you can get this. And it's right here, Notepad++. Just download whatever the latest version is and you're all set for that. Okay, I'll open that up in here. Here we go. Now we need to find the music section. Let's go up here to search, come down to find and type in music right here and find next. We'll have to look down a little bit to find what we want. Let me just put this over here so you can see it better. And I'll work down a little bit on this. Okay, here's a jukebox. We don't want that. Let's skip past all of this stuff. And here we go. Here's our record disc name. So we have record name is music disc. And then we have the descriptions up here that have the names of the actual records. Now, music disc, this is what shows inside of the inventory. And you only have just that one choice. So, so all the records all say the same thing. They all say music disc. We'll leave that one alone. But we can change the name of the actual disc. And that's right here where it says C418 cat. That's the cat record. So I'm going to go over here and I want to have this name on it. Right click and copy. I'll just copy the name out. And in here, let's just go over this. Right click and I'll paste. So there we go. There's the name of the new record. And then save this. And that's all taken care of. And that was this file here. And this file needs to be inside of texts. So we'll just drag it over there, drop it into texts, double check. There we go. That one's taken care of. Okay, let's now edit our sound file and convert this over to the right format for use in Minecraft. Now, we'll be changing this to an OGG file, a .ogg file. This has to be converted to OGG. You can't just change the name. That's not going to work. Also, make sure that you're seeing these extensions in here, like the .png, the .mp3, the .json. Make sure you're seeing those. If you're not seeing those, go up to View, come down to Show, and click on File Name Extensions, and you'll then see those. Now, if you're on Windows 10, same basic idea. Click on the View tab, and then put a check next to File Name Extensions. Okay, now for this, I like doing my editing in another free program called Audacity. Let me first show you where you can get that. And it's right here, again, free download. I'll put this link in the description, and then I'll bring this up in Audacity. Let's just bring Audacity up first. Here we go, and here's the Audacity program. Now you can go up here to File and Open to find your file, or easy way is just to grab your file and drag and drop it right into the program like that. There we are. Now records work best inside of Minecraft if they are mono and not stereo. So let's go ahead and we'll fix that one. Go up to Tracks, come down to Mix, Stereo down to Mono. There we are, that solves lots of problems. And now let's export this out as the OGG file format. So file, export. You want to export as OGG. And here we are inside of our working folder. Go into sounds, music, game, records. It goes right here. And while we're at it, let's rename this. It has to be named cat. So cat.og, choose save, and OK. And that's now done. We can now go back and build the resource pack and we're almost ready now to actually get this put together and put into the game. One last thing, manifest.json file. Let's open this up again. I'm opening this up in Notepad++. 
a couple things to do in here. The first one is the description and these names. They're all the same thing, but let's just make sure we change this. Now, make sure you don't lose those quotation marks. You're changing what's between the quotation marks. Let's call this new cat record so I know what it is. Select that, right click and copy, and then come down and do that right here. Same thing, just paste that in here. And then down here as well, right click and paste. Then we have these two UUID codes in here, this one up here and another one right down here. These are like license plates on a car. Each pack has to have its own license plates so that Minecraft can tell them apart. That's all this is. So let's get two new codes for this and I have another free website for that. Let me bring that up. And it's right here, the online UUID generator. Come down, click on refresh, gives you a new code, click on copy and back to the manifest and put that between those quotation marks. It's all of that. Right click and paste. Let's now do the exact same thing for our second one. So back up to our website here, refresh, choose copy, back to the manifest and let's paste that on the second location here. Right click and paste and then just save that file. All right, that's taken care of. We can now build a resource pack. Let's get this out of the way and back to our working folder. Now we need the sounds, text, textures, folders, all of those, plus the manifest, plus your pack icon. So hold the control key down, we grab all of those, just like that, those five things. Right click on any one of those and let's compress to zip file and give it a name. I'll call it new cat disk. Now this is again, Windows 11. If you're on Windows 10, same idea, just go up to the top and click on the share tab and you'll find a big button for the zip. It does the exact same thing. Okay, now that we are here, we need to rename this. Click on the file, right click, Again, Windows 11, so come down, show more options. Windows 10 will just be showing you this from the first click. Come down to where it says rename, click on that, and the name is now selected. Now just use your right arrow and back that cursor past the zip, backspace over zip, and change that to MC Pack. And click outside and choose yes. You should see the icon change here to the dirt block icon. If you don't see that, sometimes it doesn't show up immediately. Just go into any of your folders, back out again, and you'll then see that. Okay, we're gonna be loading this into the game now. Make sure your game is not running and then double click on the pack. And that's going to launch Minecraft and then import that new pack. We'll see it importing in just a moment here. There we go, import started. And successful, we're fine. That it has been imported correctly. Okay, now come down to settings, click on this. In here, scroll down. Come down to Global Resources and My Packs. And you should see your new cat record up here. That's where we've renamed that in the Manifest JSON so you can see what that was. Click on that, click on Activate. Let's go up to Active, make sure we're seeing it and we are, that's good. Okay, let's go back to Settings again. It's gonna reload that resource pack. Come down to Play. And then choose your world you're playing. And we'll let this load in and We'll see how this works. Okay, here we go. I'm holding that record as you can see right there. That's our new icon. If I scroll over and back to it, it still says music disc. We already saw how that was just that one option there. No way to change that. Okay, there's a better shot of that disc. Let's walk back over here. There's that new disc image right there. That's working just fine. Let's now toss this into the jukebox. Okay, let's test this out and see how it sounds. There's a new name right there, that worked out fine. And we have our new music playing. So there you go, that's how to make custom music discs here inside of Minecraft Bedrock. And I'll see you next time.